Hello witches and welcome to the June 2023 unboxing of the witch casket. We've got some interesting goodies in here I think so let the magic begin. I'm just gonna dive straight in today. Charms and enchantments, alrighty. This one looks kind of like spooky. Do you know, I just get like spooky vibes off this. I'm excited for this. Okay, let's start by looking at, ooh. No, I'm doing spoilers, that's naughty. Okay, <laughs> oh, this is cool. Okay, I was gonna say this is our print. Maybe it is our print. Okay, so this is what's looking like our print for this month. Got some hands here with a candle in the middle and then the spiral and some smoke. So there's a little bit of magic going on there. And then on the other side, it says monthly manifestations. What are my goals this month? What practical steps can I take to reach those goals? What magical steps can I take to reach these goals? The seeds are planted, intentions are set. I command my desires be met. So I love that. So they've gone for like the human or the physical stuff that you can do. And then the magical stuff that you can do. I love that so much. It's weird. I was thinking about this this morning about like what's the human approach that we can take and what's the spirit approach that we can take so I love that how aligned is that that's exciting okay then the next thing we have is an enchanting all-purpose charm bag kit you know I love when they do a charm bag I'm hoping it's a nice like hessian bag not any of that fake satin stuff I can't stand that oh god it is the fake satin stuff okay <laughs> What we got? Oh, this looks like citrine. So we have fugly bag, mint and basil and citrine. Think about what it is you need in your life. Sit with each item and set your intention, imagining a positive outcome. I like the little design on the back with the cauldron. That's cute. I just can't get into these satin bags. I'm really sorry. I just feel like they put so much beautiful effort into everything. And I just feel like this is something you can get for 10p in a, in a shop, which I wouldn't even want to spend 10p on. It's just, it's just, it's just naff. I'm really sorry. Oh, there's some exciting stuff in here. What should we go for? What should we go for? Ah, okay, we'll go for the enamel pin because that's on the top and I actually think this is really really nice so they've got a cauldron with a potion bottle pouring into it which to be fair <laughs> you would not want to pour from that high unless you've got really good aim because that could end up all over the place and depending on the potion you might not want that to happen but anyway it's super cute little design on the back of a lantern which I like yeah I really like that pin I think that would be a nice one to wear actually I think that would go on my top in fact yeah black and white that kind of goes quite nicely next item I have is the crystal here which looks like clear quartz yes clear quartz with a success sigil oh okay that's interesting let's see what the success sigil is oh it's one they've designed themselves that's lovely this is actually a really nice piece of clear quartz should we see if we can find <gasps> yep there's a little rainbow oh yeah that's nice in fact mm, it's actually like something interesting and it might just be clear quartz in general but there is actually a crystal which I can't remember what it's called if I can remember I'll pop it here somewhere for you um but essentially it's like a tv quartz and when you put it down Oh, there's a lovely rainbow there. Essentially, when you put it down and move it across writing, it magnifies it. And this is definitely doing that. So I don't know if that's just quartz in general, but definitely that's that's cool. Okay, so it says clear quartz is a stone of power, which can amplify any intention. As such, it can be used for any purpose. Engraved with a success sigil, carry this quartz crystal with you to help you achieve your goals or add it to your charm bags or spell kits to encourage a successful outcome. I think that'd be something I'd carry because it feels like perfect pocket size. And I really like the little sigil they've designed actually. So much fun. I love that they've done that for us. Let's Let's take a look at the scroll because there's some really exciting things in here that I'm very excited to look at. Okay, so we have spoken charms. Spoken charms are used to enchant everyday objects and can be a great way to incorporate magic into everyday life. Anti-anxiety pendant. Well, that sounds brilliant. I'm up for that. Footwear for courage. Love that. Face cream for attraction and clarity glasses. Oh, this is so sweet. I like this. This is a really good idea. And I wear shoes. I have a face. I wear glasses and I want to get rid of anxiety. So I'm going to use all of them. <laughs> This next item keeps looking at me, so we're just gonna go for it. I don't know if it's a necklace or something. Let's have a look. Charm bell, oh, okay. Oh yeah, okay, that's a bit too small for a necklace. So we have got a very cute bell of this size, which they gave us, I think it was last year, and I can't remember what box it was in, but it was very cute. Little metal one, and I think it was just one side it's got a design this one has a design both sides and it says the ringing of bells has long been used to clear away stagnant and unwanted energies hang this in your car your home your workplace or anywhere that you feel you need a charm for cleansing and protection so that's like a portable version of the bigger charm that we got was it in la not last month april or may i think it might have been may maybe it was april anyway so that's like a portable version so i like that they've kind of taken the theme and taken it to the next step which is nice because let's face it like a bell is a bell but it's how you use it and where you use it that matters right okay so we do have what do they call these i know it's an l lanyard we have a lanyard which is actually quite cute i don't tend to wear lanyards just because i'm just not somebody who really bothers wearing keys and stuff but i actually think this is cute and maybe it kind of connects to something later on in the box because there's loads to go through we'll see it's got a design of a pl planchette not a penchant planchette planchette yeah 
uh, pentagram or pentacle, oh, what's it called? Crystal ball, moon, candle, it's cute, I like it. I don't know what we use it for, but I like it. Next item is looking like a pendant. Oh, no, it's not magic. I love not magic. Oh my God, also known as Witch's Ladder, I think, or at least in the book that I read it was. This is exciting, let me just hit the, oops. Hang on, <laughs> found it. Okay, so we have some cord, black cord, and then a very tiny, probably not gonna see that, I'll do a close up, very tiny key charm. And essentially you make a knot and they've done an incantation that you can use or you can use your own, but you would essentially tie it into knots whilst you're saying the incantation. I've done knot magic before and I've actually found it's really good. And it's nice and simple and it's quick and it's easy. And you can use pretty much anything. So yeah, what an enormous bag that is. I actually would prefer to use this bag for my charm spell, so I might keep that, but I like that. Love a bit of knot magic. We've got four items left. Oh, that one looks really good. Okay, we'll start with this one. An enchantment oil blend, 100% pure essential oil. Let's see what they've gone for. Haven't had an essential oil for a while, actually, I don't think. Peony and peppermint. Oh my gosh, I love peonies. Should we see what it smells like? Probably gonna regret this one. I've got to carry it inside. Ooh, that's weird. I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's like super minty. And then you just get this little hint of peony. I like that. It's like weird good weird good okay what should we go for out of these three items because they all look good i'm gonna go with this one it's in a bag Ooh, this looks really good i like when they do really good items oh wow that's so pretty okay so we have this cute bag can you guess what's inside yes it is a key and then i'll just get the card out so we've got this very pretty key they gave us a key i think it was in 2021 i think i got one in one of the boxes there and it had a purple tassel and it was more of a silver color this is more of like an aged i think they call it gun metal when it's that dark don't they and it says keys have long been believed to offer protection from evil so carry this enchanted key as an amulet to shield you as you open the doors of opportunity you can also hold the key during meditation if you feel your path is blocked you need to find a solution to unlock your path and move forward now that would be really good if you were doing shamanic journeying and going into the underworld maybe and like unlocking something in there that would probably work really well or if you went up into maybe the akashic records you could potentially unlock something a past life memory or something that needed healing so that could work really well actually right so we've got two items left i think i'm going to go with this one so this is a cute little box, which I would definitely keep. Let's open it and see what we have. Oh, wow, this is exciting. They've really gone for it here, I like this. Okay, it sort of looks like the devil, but we'll go with it, it's fine. <laughs> so they've given us a pendant on a lovely black, usually vegan leather thong. And then they have this design, which I will do a close up because you won't see it otherwise, but it's a cauldron with flames coming out uh, around a pentacle. The only thing I would say is the top two flames here do look a bit like devil's horns. Initially I was like, have they gone for a devil? No, they haven't. This to me is like absolutely something I would wear if I was going for like badass vibe, which obviously I'm not today. I'm going for like cutesy vibe, like cottage core meets spiritual meets the beach vibe. Yeah, that is super cute. I love that they've done that. And it's a lovely little box that they put it in. I really like that. I would really love it if they did more pendants. Actually, if they did a pendant series would be really cool. I know they've done the talisman series. <laughs> But anyway, I like that. That's a good item. Okay, so we're at the final item. This is cute. I'm going to say this is an altar piece. We'll look at what it says on the cheat sheet, but it is this wooden piece. Just in case you don't believe me. As I will it, so mote it be. We've got a cauldron, a pentacle, skull. Do you see what I mean about this being like kind of spooky vibes? Everything about this to me feels like spooky witch. And I mean that in a good way. Like that's not a criticism at all, but that's just the vibe I'm getting from this with all the skulls and stuff. I haven't seen them do many skulls except for around Samhain to be honest. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, you got your candles. I'm gonna presume that you could put this on your altar. You could maybe prop it upright or you could have it flat and you could put the mini cauldron potentially that we got a couple of months ago. I think that would probably be fine. I can't argue that this is heat proof, but let's see what it says inside the cheat sheet. Enchantment plate. This exclusive opulent opulent plate is ideal for enchantment spells. Place the item you'd like to enchant in the center of the plate and work your magic. This can also be used as an altar tile or for more general spells and rituals. So yeah, I feel like you probably could put your little cauldron on it. That would be fine. Just maybe be aware that you don't want to put it on top of like, you know, a nice cupboard that could burn. It should be fine though. And then it says it's a free gift, the lanyard. So I think each month, maybe at the moment, they're doing like something a little bit extra as a free gift, which I've got to be honest, we get so many things in each box anyway. The fact that they want to give us something extra, I think is really lovely actually. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with the lanyard. Maybe I could put my key on it. I'd look a bit weird if I went around with a magical, would I look weird? I don't know. Maybe people call me weird anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This item is fun. So let's talk about favorite items. I think it's going to be the key, probably the crystal actually. I really like the crystal this month. I think that it's just a really beautiful piece of clear quartz. You know, sometimes clear quartz you're like, eh, but actually it's a really great crystal to own. You can never have too much clear quartz, literally clear quartz, selenite, black tourmaline. You can have a million pieces of them each and you would Still not have enough so that's fine and i do actually i do actually really like the pin but i also really like the not magic spell as well <laughs> so that's quite a few items i mean 
I could include this because this is great fun and we don't normally have anything like this. You know, I love that they've put so much design into this. So that's like half the box. Am I allowed to say that half the box is my favourite? I don't know. <laughs> Who's going to stop me? No one. So half the box is my favourite for this month. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you get this box? If you didn't, what are you waiting for? You could have all these lovely goodies that you could just be filling your house with. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've genuinely run out of space to put all these items. I've now got the last, maybe the last six months worth of boxes with the items still in them because I just don't have anywhere to put them because I've run out of space in my cupboards. So maybe I'm going to have to get another cupboard. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna have to get another cupboard. Like I am waiting to put another table here so I can put my little kind of aesthetic bits back here. So maybe I need to look for like a little cupboard that I can actually put it all in. I need more, more space is the answer to that question. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this and you've enjoyed this unboxing and I will see you in my next video. Love it. What a cute load of items. Love that. Always love when they do a key. Nothing, nothing better than a good key, she said. <laughs> As the doors, I don't know, if, can we see that on my, yeah, you can see that. That sounds like I'm saying, no, not magic. We don't want any of that magic rubbish around here. Yes, we do. Video keeps cutting out. That's what they all say. Think about what you want. Enchanting all purpose. Oh, what magical steps can I take to research? But, but, but.